we want to partner with China so that they would help us to develop small equipment that we can use on our hillsides. I'm thinking that we would be more productive. For instance, face recognition for livestock, drone technology, seed planters, and post-harvest equipment and technology. I think we can learn from China and use, utilize the technologies that China is currently using to increase our productivity and make our farmers' lives much better. We have learned a lot, but uh, the one that we are discussing about one village, one product looks very impressive. So I think that's something that we should um, take it away from here and um, see how we can uh, build some co cooperation and coordination between the two countries and learn a lot from China, how we can develop it in, in, in our country in Iraq and the Kurdistan region. Last year, there were more than 50 billion um, dollars, the value of the exchange um, trade between the two countries. So this is a good indicator that there are some uh, something going on related to the um, Build and Road Initiative. Uh, I mean, in Iraq, we had a proposal actually for China. We call it um, Development Road, and uh, it includes um, at least. 15 train stations for transporting goods and passengers and uh, it seems like it's a dream for the Iraqis to implement this project. And then uh, I mean road construction and link Iraq to the to the uh, like at the, the Middle East and the other uh, countries market so through this agreement uh, China wants to help Iraq in order to send their products from Iraq to the other markets in order to get uh, incomes not only focusing on oil sector. FECC has uh, implemented a large number of uh, agricultural collaboration projects in South Asia countries as well as in African countries. Chinese uh, professors and researchers and agricultural technicians go to the uh, partner countries to carry out the demonstration uh, project, cultivation, breedings, and so on and so forth. This actually contributed greatly to increase the productivity, agricultural productivity of the partner countries, as well as the food security. In our country, it's uh, especially in the agriculture sectors and um, also the agriculture university. And our um, some projects like the food safety, uh, to enhance the food safety and network and to promote the uh, agriculture network and then a library network and other uh, agricultural uh, advanced technologies projects. I was thinking that it was it was a very important effort in order to exchange uh, we just just mentioned it exchange the agriculture products and exchange information and technology also getting benefit from the Chinese technology from uh, th that China is using currently uh, that Iraq can can use this technology in order to develop their agriculture sectors for example or the uh, uh, three-dimensional infrastructure uh, construction will be intensified. This will create a, a good opportunity for the agricultural cooperation, particularly some farms and uh, plantations in the developing countries can collaborate with China and also strengthen the uh, agri uh, trade, agricultural trade between the partner country and China.